Hey YouTubers, I want to do a clarification video concerning these LS positive valve seals. Uh, in a previous video, I had kind of mentioned to you guys that I had a set of these CompCam 511-16 Viton positive seals to try to run on my LS cylinder heads, but that I wanted to also find a way to put a shim underneath the uh, valve spring so the valve spring doesn't sit there and just bounce around and eat into my cylinder head. After doing some extensive research online, actual uh, valve spring shims that are designed for the factory LS cylinder heads, they're kind of hard to find. I'm not saying they don't exist, but thus far, the only place I've found that actually has LS specific valve spring shims that'll fit the factory spring pocket plus pop properly locate itself to the 500 thousandths valve guide was on a website called Alex's. The problem I was having was you could find valve spring shims that'll fit the spring pocket but it won't properly locate to the actual valve guide, which is a no-go. That's not going to be beneficial. You don't want to do that. Well, I was kind of scratching my head because I can buy a set of, uh, I think they were made by Felpro, factory top hat style valve spring. Uh, I'm going to do the positive seal and the spring locator all in one piece. Uh, you know, again, in previous videos, I've referred to these as the Top Hat LS Valve Seal Locator Combo. In order to do that, I would lose out on, on using my CompCam Aftermarket Viton Seal, which I really wanted to use. Well, lo and behold, I'm out trying to clean the garage out uh, to make room to bring the blazer in. And I'm going through boxes and kind of uh, consolidating what I want to keep and throwing away what I don't. I find a bag labeled LS valve locks and locators like okay am I so old that I woke up in a new world again apparently so I open it up start looking in there lo and behold spring locators factory spring I'm assuming they're factory I don't even know where I got these things from or what cylinder heads I snagged them off of but basically what this does it allows you to run the aftermarket non-connected valve uh, positive seal on your valve guides and creates you're basically creating this by running a spring locator then your valve seal on top you know presses on because it's going to engage the top of your valve guide but basically what that does is it locates it loc your locator will locate to the valve guide then your spring steps on it and it basically gives it a buffer or that protective layer that we've talked about in previous videos to keep the bottom of the valve spring from eating into the aluminum in previous videos I talked about people uh, who mentioned cutting off the uh, old positive seal from a set of factory top hats that won't work I want to go ahead and just make that clear I had heard that on a forum evidently I'm gonna to have to deduct that that person had never tried that because the problem is the hole in the bottom of the top hat is way larger than the hole in the locator Okay, you have a locator. This hole is slightly larger than the 500 thousandths guide. This hole in the bottom of this top hat is actually as big as a small block Chevy valve, uh, sorry, valve spring shim and literally walks all over the, the spring seat in the head. So you can't cut that guy, uh, valve seal off and use the remaining part of this as your valve spring shim slash locator bad idea so 
shame on me for mentioning it into previous videos because that's just something I had read in a forum online and thought, oh, that sounds reasonable. Yeah, I tried it. I cut one of these apart. No, that's not going to go. So thankfully, through my, I guess I'm getting so old, I wake up in a new world every day, memory, I have a set of, uh, apparently they're factory, I'm not sure, uh, LS valve spring locators that'll allow me to run this with my comp cams, Viton valve, uh, valve seals, and these are not the springs I'm going to run, by the way. These are just a set of, uh, I think it's 2004 LS2 Corvette yellow springs, but I wanted to use something in the video as a reference to how that's going to work. So, that's my little quick hit video where I uh, <laughs> had a, an epiphany of knowledge that I should have remembered, but apparently did not. So basically, that what that little bitty thin locator allows you to do is protect that head, basically create this scenario, but allows you to use the aftermarket non-connected positive seal. So emergency averted, everything's a go. And I have everything I need to put my springs into my 4.8 heads whenever I get the engine pulled out. Fingers crossed, things are going to keep going forward as they are so far. And I will get that 4.8 pulled off and get to work on those cylinder heads, swapping that cam, and doing the ported, shimmed, melling oil pump. So people building LS engines that need to know, got to protect the head one way or another. If you got to go buy a set of these top hats, do that. Keep in mind when you buy top hat or factory replacement positive seals, they're going to have different colors on the on the tops of them, your actual seal material. They separate them into eight for the exhaust valve and eight for the intake valve, and they both use a different color. That's because of the heat. Your exhaust valve experiences a lot more heat than the intake side, so they make a different material to use on that application. Keep that in mind if you're assembling your own cylinder heads. You gotta put the right color on the right valve. When you go to aftermarket Vitans, they're all the same color, or like Howard's Racing, all their seals are the same material, same color. So you don't have to worry about that scenario. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Like, subscribe, share. If you could give me some thumbs up, that would be great. Hit the little bell so you'll be notified when I get another video up.